Hey there, this is uh, Mike with Rethinking a Dollar. Uh, I wanted to uh, share with you a recent article uh, that actually came out uh, two days ago uh, by Michael Lombardi at uh, The Profit Confidential. And I thought this was a very interesting prediction of the future in regards to the United States dollar uh, as well as the government um, here. And so it says, where the U.S. dollar is headed and what it means to you. And so just a real short article, wanted to just, you know, breeze through it and highlight a few things that were very interesting to me. It says, for the United States uh, federal government's fiscal year, which ends this past Tuesday, or this Tuesday coming up rather, the Congressional Budget Office is the office that, you know, kind of you know, oversees the budgeting of our government, predicts a budget deficit of $506 billion. So in other, so other words, you know, they're operating in the negative at five hundred and six billion dollars so they're over budget by five hundred and six billion according to the congressional budget office website september 26 2014 so you can check it out for yourself it says but just because our annual deficit is declining that doesn't mean our national debt is uh, rising by an equal amount and so um you know last year's number i think it was you know I'm not quoting but i think about 700 700 billion give or take you know reported was our deficit so now it's at five it's probably at 500 or something like that which means that, that we you know we are you know negative or minus negative two in the hole for this upcoming fiscal year but you know they're saying that that still doesn't mean that we're getting better because it says in fact between september 20th 2013 and september 20th 2014 the u.s national debt increased by one trillion dollars one trillion dollars that's a lot of money and so just to give you an idea of how much money that is uh ever since the economic downturn of the 2008 year since you know the federal reserve decided to monetize and bail out and things like that we've been operating near one trillion for the most part every year give or take and so pretty much all every year under president obama we've been in a the, the biggest yearly deficit of our entire you know history as a nation just to show how just say how bad things have been it says and the government is expected to post budget deficits until at least 2024 so that means every year the government which is a company in a sense will operate in a negative which means they they spend way more than they themselves can ever produce and so obviously it's in, it's in a negative because they're not generating enough enough tax revenue so they are operating in a negative and this has a lot to do with the dollar because the only way they're able to operate is to in essence borrow money from people who's willing to lend them money and so it's, it helps that you know having you know the, the number one currency at the moment where you can just go to the printing press for the most part and just print a lot of these pieces of paper here in order to fund yourself but yet imagine if you were um, you know just put, put, put yourself as a family and you decided to just continue to charge a credit card and that maxed out so you got another one you maxed that out so you just kept getting credit cards and maxing them out ex max them out max them out and so you start you know borrowing credit cards or getting credit cards to pay off old credit cards to take out new credit cards to pay off old credit cards so that whole cycle at what point do you think, you know, on a personal level that that will come to an end and not end well? You know, pretty soon. It's good to say that you wouldn't be able to continue on doing that without some major repercussions. And so nothing's different for the government. So here, just to give you, give you a couple more, and I'll paste a link here so you can read it for yourself. Great short read. Uh, some things that stood out to me was, uh, says, uh, while I'm sure traders are enjoying the recent rally in the U.S. dollar, which means on a you know on a uh, on the um, currency market, the U.S. dollar is you know strong, just because every country you know that it trades with is you know experiencing major, major, major problems themselves, which makes the dollar look strong. Uh, that rally is simply a product of the Fed's repeated announcements of higher rates ahead and the continued economic problems in the Eurozone. The reality of the matter is that the projected massive increase in the U.S. national debt will have a material impact on the U.S. dollar. Over the past five years, we have seen central banks around the world reduce. We have seen central banks around the world reduce the amount of U.S. dollars they hold as their reserve currency and so 
if you've kind of been paying attention, you know, Russia, China, the BRIC nations, uh, you know, various countries have decided to, for the most part, just bypass or just opt out of using the dollar in trading amongst themselves, which means that, you know, as this deficit grows, as far as them printing more paper and attempts to try to circulate them around the world, more people will be like, hey, we don't really want these things. We will just settle with our own paper, which is, you know, faulty within itself. But, you know, it'll save us money and not using your money. And so we just choose not to do business with you. So if they keep running a deficit here in America, but the world keeps saying, no, we, we're straight. We don't want to loan you money, A. And B, we're not going to really do business with you with your money. What happens to these pieces of papers that's floating around that, you know, us as Americans are saving in the bank. You know, so if the supply increases drastically, but the demand decreases, you know, that is not a pretty picture. In my opinion, it's called inflation, increased cost of living, things like that, because you have the same pieces of paper with where nowhere to go. So they just basically increase the prices of goods and services that we all need on a daily basis. And it says the long term fundamentals for the greenback are poor. Exposure to investments in strong foreign countries, you know, I don't really think Canada would be a good idea, is very important for American investors at this juncture. So this is Michael Lombardi from the Profit Confidential. I thought this was a you know great article just because he gave a lot of interesting numbers here that you know should cause you to think. Anyway, I thought I would share this information. If you find this informational or informative rather, uh, like it, share it. Um, also, you can visit me at Facebook at uh, facebook.com forward slash rethinking the dollar where I'll post it there as well. I'd love to hear some comments. Thanks for your time. Have a good one.